Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. Over the weekend, there was two re, uh, reports of earthquakes that I didn't report on Saturday. One of them uh, was by Big Bear City there in the mountains of San Bernardino. It was a magnitude 3.5. It occurred at 2.55 p.m. local time, and there was no reports of damage. So let me bring this out, and I'll show you. Yeah, we've had quite a few earthquakes in this location. Here you can see in, in uh, 1986, there was a, a 6.0. And then we also got uh, the different quakes that were caused by the uh, Landers earthquake um, in 1992, a 6.2. And we got a fault line down over here, which is part of the St. Andreas Fault Zone. Yeah, I, I got different things marked out because I did cover. Um, there is areas over here um, where we got spreading. See that drawn out in blue? USGS gave it an intensity level of 3. Uh, 65 people said that they felt this earthquake. It was felt as far as Santa Ana. Uh, did you feel this earthquake? Uh, we got Winchester, intensity level 2, and as far south as Lucerne Valley. Here on the Moment Tensor Ball, you can see how the fault moved going west. Yeah, the tectonic plates are moving. Um, pressure, uh, the first wave of the earthquake came from the north. And tension's going to be applied, supposedly, going towards, oh, probably... A little bit more towards the northeast. The other earthquake occurred yesterday was by the Solomon Islands. That was a magnitude 6.0. Right there. Let me bring this out. You can see we also got a 5.1 close to the same location. Now that was in uh, 2023, December 30th. And you can see we got the uh, New Britain subduction zone. The earthquake was centered in Lada at a depth of 30 kilometers, fairly deep. That's within a subduction zone um, location, or about 22.4 miles. There was only one person that said that they felt this earthquake. And like I showed you here, we got the New Britain, uh, New um, Hebrides um, seismic zone. Um, this is an area where the Australian plate is currently subducting below uh, the former portion of itself, we actually got a part of the Australian plate that has broken off. I got that drawn out in yellow. There's a lot of different uh, trenches, very deep trenches here, and they're all connected to each other. And sometimes uh, they can be just one single event uh, that you know affects all these different trenches throughout here. Let me bring this in a little bit. Here you can see the New Hebrides plate. And let's go back up to where this earthquake occurred. I got an arrow drawn out here showing the direction of the Pacific plate as the Australian plate um, sinks below the Pacific plate. Yep, we're getting more and more earthquakes. You know, it's been a long time since there's been a major earthquake along the Ring of Fire. Uh, connected to the United States. I just wonder how long that's going to continue with all these earthquakes, you know, within the ring of fire. I think we've been blessed and we've been, been protected for a large earthquake, either along the Cascadia subduction zone or the uh, Mendocino Triple Junction, which runs into the uh, San Andreas uh, fault zone. Yeah, we've been protected, but that's not going to last for forever. People do need to be prepared. So, did you feel that earthquake by Big Bear City? Yeah, a lot of people probably never even sent in their reports. Um, if you did, please put your comments down lo below. How long did it last? Uh, what did the motion feel like? And does this inspire you to be, pre be prepared for a much larger earthquake? Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.